Row Spudnik platter that we installed the Ag Excel GX5 and a GX3 system. There's dual, dual products that are going down uh, for spraying fungicide in the furrow as well as a high volume nitrogen that's going to go to the side. Uh, this was set up where your high volume setup is on one side and your uh, fungicide is going to be in the opposite side. And we also installed the Ag Excel GX7 row by row monitoring and we're monitoring, monitoring two solutions. And so that's why you'll see on every single row, we have two sensors here. One of course is for the high volume and the secondary one is for the fungicide. And the way this is plumbed, you can see in the back right here, there's, there's a flow meter. And this flow meter is on every single row. And we have it for the high volume. And then on the opposite side over here, this would be for the fungicide. We're tracking and monitoring the fungicide here as well. So you can see the, the flow meter. These flow meters will allow us to achieve anything from 0.2 to about two gallons per minute per row. So it has a really good broad range and has the ability to track what's happening in that row. And if we, if you look on the side here, we can see how that's uh, being applied. Down below on the row, we have a spray nozzle tip that's applying the fungicide and then a straight tube drop that's uh, applying the high volume nitrogen to the side as well. And so we're tracking the volume on each one of those setups. And then the tube runs up again, the flow meters on the side here for each one that we're monitoring. So they're gonna have the ability to be able to track both fungicide and nitrogen at the same time and map it accordingly in the GPS. On the back of the system here, we have the GX3 system and this GX3 is what's gonna apply the fungicide and the fungicide will be applied with a special pump here that's lined, silicone lined, so it doesn't wear uh, uh, while they're applying uh, quadrus. And then we have a base tank that's a 45 gallon base tank that allows them to wash out the system. So if you notice here on the front side of the panel, we have a, a ball valve that lets them rinse out the system. So at the end of the night, when they finish running, uh, Quadris has a tendency to, to gel up and harden up in the, in the lines. And so they'll just basically bypass that, grab the rinse, run it through the system, and it therefore allows it to rinse out the system. And in the morning, they'll agitate it, start up the whole system, agitate, get it running, and off they go. So there's no problems with plugging, have to unplug the lines and so forth. The system takes care of all of that. Now, on the front side, we have it set up to where the, high, the two tanks are set up on the tractor itself. So we'll be running both systems integrated into the Green Star. So we have two rate controllers, one sitting behind the cab of the tractor, and then we have the secondary one sitting on the potato planter itself. So there's two rate controllers, uh, so the Green Star will be able to track that. We have the saddle tanks on it, and then on the front of the tractor, we have the Ag Excel GX5 hydraulic motor sitting on the front, and that allows us to uh, put the high volume nitrogen on there. And this also, this setup also allows them not only to plant potatoes, but when they go to their planters, the planters are set up so that this will tap right into the planter so they can plant with the same setup. And then thereafter, when they, after they plant, this will also connect to their side dress machine. And so they're going to side dress uh, with this as well. So it's a pretty, pretty neat little flexible setup. They're going to plant potatoes. They're going to plant corn. They're going to plant cotton. And then they're going to uh, side dress with the same setup. Uh, so it makes it very versatile to allow them to, to do all these applications with just one setup. So that's a nice thing about being able to hook this up on the front of the plant, on the front of the tractor. So no matter what they're connected to, they can apply it to every environment. And then our, in the cab, we have the Ag Excel GX7. So I'll give you a little screenshot of that. So here in the cab, we have dual products. I'll show you one of them here. So this is the, the Droid tablet. And here are the eight rows showing up right here. So we have the eight rows that are being monitored in the back. And at any given time, we can select the row and we can see the actual of what's coming through the row. We can also uh, go to our, our rows individually and we'll set thresholds. The threshold allows us to basically t tell the user, hey, if it falls below this amount or goes above, 
I want to be alarmed on it. So we can set those under our settings, thresholds. There's our thresholds right there. Then if we go to farm view, farm view, of course, will allow us to map it. And then there's the mapping for that as well. So this is a great tool to help them not only monitor what they're going to be applying on their potatoes, but it also is going to allow them to take the GPS coordinates and, and uh, take the shape file and uh, overlay that with all the other data that they're going to be gathering.